Yo, yo, what's going on everybody? So in this video, we're going to be finding a winning product that can get you to 10K a day in under 10 minutes. That's gonna be the goal in this video. I'm gonna provide you guys with uh, a Google Sheet here that you can access uh, inside of the description. Uh, this Google Sheet is what we're gonna be using to uh, document the products we find and identify uh, if they have a good margin and if we should go with them. Uh, so without further ado, let's uh, jump right into it. The very first thing you're going to need to do is program your Instagram feed on ideally a new account to be giving you winning products. Now, how do you do this? I'm sure you're asking. It's actually very simple. You're gonna wanna go over here to the search bar and you're gonna start wanting to search things in different niches that you might be interested in. Now, I wanna kinda just have a variety of different products uh, inside of my feed, um, but you, you do wanna pick a topic. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick jewelry just because that's the niche that I'm in already um, and I think it's gonna be relevant for this video. Uh, so let's go ahead and just start searching quite literally uh, jewelry, right? So we can like, go ahead and search gold jewelry you're gonna to wanna to go over here to, um, you can see right here on the For You, we're actually gonna start by clicking on uh, this video here and I wanna talk about it a little bit. So you can see here, we see we have a video that says POV. Oh, let's actually scroll back here. It says POV, uh, wear their birth flowers on a ring, right? And you can see this is a very viral video. I'm gonna go ahead and like this and I'm gonna go ahead and comment on it and I'm gonna say, oh my God, that is beautiful and here's the reason we're actually doing this so what we're trying to do is engage with the algorithm um, in any given niche that you want to see more products for so that we can start having more of these appear in our feed now we're particularly doing this for the instagram uh, feed here so if you if you see here if i click on the reel section I'm gonna have uh, different reels that pop up. And you can see I'm already having ads here that are popping up. This one's showing that it's on Amazon and, and Mesho. I don't even know what that is. But you can see this is like a lamp that somebody's selling and it went viral. After you start doing this more on a new account, you're going to start seeing more and more ads that are related to that niche start show, showing up in your feed. Now, I'm sure you're asking, well, what if I wanna you know, see a variety of niches with a variety of different products? You can do that. You can actually go ahead and now type in a completely different niche. Let's just say we wanna go into like fashion, right? and we wanna see, maybe, maybe it's woman's fashion, but let's just go ahead here and, and start with fashion um, and start interacting with some of these. You can see uh, this girl is showing off uh, some fashion, you know, some fashion stuff. We can just go ahead, toss in some emojis, give it a like. What Again, what you're gonna start seeing is as you do this more and more, especially with, um, with reels, you're going to start having a feed that is more curated to showing you ads and showing you content and, and reels um, that are inside of that niche. And, and um, ideally you're trying to get ads that are showing up, organic ads that are showing up. Why? Because that's the type of content that works that's gonna show you what products are currently going viral, right? And uh, the easiest way to actually get started in the space and, and get a product that's going to work really well is by finding a product that's currently trending and going viral, all right? Um, Cool, so with that said, what you're gonna to wanna to do after that is um, scroll, right? Do this over and over until you start seeing um, different products. You can see here, and this is actually a great example, we can see a necklace. This necklace has two people and it looks like they're hugging on it. Fantastic, so let's just say we wanna go with this product here, right? The very first thing we're gonna to wanna to do after we identify a potential product that has virality, right? Has 159,000 likes, 122, comments is we're going to go over here and we're going to go ahead and add this product um, into our um, into our sheets. So we're going to call this the hug necklace. Now, the second thing you're going to want to do after you identify a potential product to sell, and this is super crucial, is identify competition that is scaling this. Now, Alex, I'm, I'm sure you're asking, Alex, well, this isn't competition bad? Isn't that... Um, isn't that going to allow this to be more difficult? Well, no, competition, what it allows you to do is it's a proof of concept, it's a proof of demand, and it's super, super useful if you leverage it correctly. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to go and I'm gonna look and see if I can find a competitor that is selling this hug necklace for uh, and, and has at least 50 ads running in their Facebook library, right? Now, how can you do this? A really easy way to do this is just to go directly um, to library 
to, to Facebook library, right? Um, so it's facebook.com forward slash ads forward slash library. And we can go here and just look up like hug necklace, right? So we're like kind of just looking for that product, right? That we're trying to, um, trying to see um, trying to see who's selling it, right? We can obviously look for um, this exact competitor uh, that we found on um, found on Instagram. Oh, but we look at this. We see this guy here that's selling this hug necklace. I'll go ahead and open that in a new in a new tab, and then I'm going to actually know one other competitor that's selling this that I'm going to go ahead and pull up as well. Um, but this just scrolling through here and identifying them is a very very easy way to do it. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead here under my creative inspiration. Um, I do know one competitor, it's gonna be fantastic for this example. And this is going to be by a company called, uh, is it Love and Crafted? Maybe. Beautiful. So Love and Crafted, I do believe, is selling this hug necklace. And what I wanna show here is Love and Crafted is running over 50 ads. So this is actually a fantastic product to continue going down the rabbit hole with. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and copy this link. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this um, you know, in here. And uh, we can, if we wanted to go ahead and further investigate um, Love and Crafted, we can go and, and check out, um, we can go and check out their product, what they're selling. So you can see they're selling it for $39. Let's just simply go ahead and copy that in here so we have it as well. Um, next, what we're gonna wanna do is actually see if we can find uh, the su a supplier for this product. A very easy way to do this is to just go and look on um, CJ Dropshipping. Uh, this is a, a solid, I would say a solid place to find uh, products to dropship. Uh, you can also find um, products on AliExpress, uh, private suppliers. If, if you want some recommendations for private ones, uh, shoot me a message inside of the Discord um, and I can, um, I can give you a few um, connects, right? So let's go ahead and look up this hug necklace. And uh, what we'll see, boom, we have it right here. So we can find this hug necklace for a dollar and 47 cents. Now you're gonna wanna do is copy this dollar 47 cents, go back to our sheet here, paste it in here, and then we're gonna go ahead and actually grab the shipping cost as well, just because you know it's not, uh, there, there is shipping to this as well. You can see we're gonna have uh, $2.36 plus 23 cents, so, and that's gonna be for the shipping costs. Uh, so we're gonna do this plus 23 cents. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and drag this total column down. Just click on that, drag it down. You can see it's gonna cost us $4 um, all in on getting this to the customer. Now, what I like to always recommend, and this is super important, is you have to have margin. You have to have gross margin to be able to scale this, especially via paid ads. So um, if you grab this column here and you drag it down, uh, you're gonna notice this is going to give you a minimum sell price. This is based off of having an 80% gross margin. Now what you'll notice is that our competitors for this, if we go to Love and Crafted, they're actually selling it for more than 80%, which is great. That tells you that you can sell it for more. There's a higher perceived value. You can sell it for more. You can have more of a gross margin and you can scale this harder. You can spend more to acquire that customer. So it's super, super important to have at least an 80%, but uh, the higher, you know, the more money you can get from a customer, the better, the more you can spend on ads. Cool, so after you have that done, I would choose the product, right? I would do this with a bunch of different products and then I would choose the product that has one thing um, particular, right? The one thing that's super important, guys, is that you can shoot in-house content with it. Now, why do I say that? Well, let's look at this. Somebody bought this product and shot this content. This type of content is very, very easy to create and it's a, it's a cheat code, all right? It's an extreme cheat code to being able to excel in this space and be able to pump out ads like crazy. So I would literally go through this list and you can see I already have a few other ones in here. I have a bubble necklace, I have a custom pet pillow, um, and I have a hug necklace, and I would say, which one of these can I shoot the most amount of in-house content uh, for? And if you're like, Alex, well, I, I kind of suck at content, shut the fuck up, dude. You can get one of these phones, all right? And you can shoot content by a window, and it can look fantastic, and you can it, it, do that, all right? Trust me. Um, I would go through here, I would pick the product that is going to allow you to shoot the most amount of in-house content and I would move forward with that for at least six months, all right? Do not switch products every other day. We're approaching 10 minutes. Um, I hope this video was beneficial. If you wanna learn more, you can hop in my Discord. I will catch you guys later. Take it easy.